Hello everybody. What's up, what's up? It's been a minute. It's been a little while. Um, yeah. So, we are into episode 5 now. Um, and it is March 23rd, Saturday. So it's actually... So we're in the winter, still in the winter episodes, but it's actually spring now. Um, and I was thinking about this before I started this video. But we don't... <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, we don't really have like a spring season here in Wisconsin, I guess. Like, usually there's a lot more snow. Um, but there's not really, I mean, it's at least for me, it just feels like it just goes from winter to summer. Like, spring is so quick. So I'm not going to bother <laughs> renaming, like, the season. We'll just go winter to summer, I think, is what it's going to turn out to be. Um, but, yeah, so it's been a little bit. It's been a little while. Since I've done an actual uh, episode here, I, I can't remember when the North Scal North Scotland was. I think it was like a few weeks ago, but March twenty third. Um, uh, I was not expecting to do another one of these, but we actually got like I wasn't expecting to do another one of these videos, but we actually got some snow, a little bit of snow, which is awesome. I wasn't expecting to do like a, I guess a shoot, a photo shoot focused on kind of, I guess, including snow. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get some uh, snow at all, at least for the rest of the year. Um, but yeah, we got a light, light dusting yesterday on Friday. Uh, tomorrow, I mean, it's still pretty warm, like it's in the 30s, it's melting right now. But I mean, there's a little bit out there just a little bit so that's um that's fun but yeah tomorrow it's honestly it's they're saying it might snow again on Sunday so we'll see but um yeah so it's about noon right now I'm thinking for today and yeah this this episode might go into tomorrow as well so it might be a two day or we'll see uh, I want to make the most of it, though. Like, if... <coughs> excuse me. Even if it's shitty weather out, crappy weather out um, tomorrow, like, I'll I'll go out. I'll go out in it. But for today, since there is a little bit, like, a light dusting of snow, uh, I do want to kind of... I want to get up in the bluffs. I want to get some... I've been... I want to kind of get away from the in-town houses, kind of neighborhood photos... I've been doing a lot of those. Um, I mean, I've, it's I I I can always fall back on those. Uh, but for today, I want to get up in the bluffs, do a little bit of hiking. Uh, there's this state park uh, in Minnesota across the river here that we're gonna go to. It's only like 20 minutes, but it's huge. It's a really big state park, um, and yeah, it's it it pretty much just covers like it's it's. It covers the expanse of two or three bluffs, so you can kind of walk around on top of there. There's really cool views, so I'm going to bring my 70 to 300 lens. Sorry about that. Just bumped the mic with my headphones. I'll have to, I'll have to dull that in the editing, but um, I think I actually have that lens around here somewhere. I, could, I was thinking about bringing it out, but yeah, I'll bring my 70 to 300, and I'm going to try and get some... Obviously, some uh, zoomed-in shots focusing kind of on the bluff lines. <clears throat> Thinking about, I'll probably go around sunset. I'll pro I mean, I'll probably head out here at like 4, 4 ish. So I'll be out there for a while, a few hours, so I can hopefully get some of those sunset hours. And hopefully by that time, there'll still be a little bit of snow on the ground. It's melting quick. I mean, it's still pretty warm out here. So it is what it is. But if it if it um, if it's gonna snow tomorrow, kind of like they're saying, I'll definitely get out in that as well. But for today, that's kind of the plan. So I'm gonna chill here for a little bit uh, and then head out around four. Uh, it's, we're past daylight savings now, so um, you know sunset. I think today is probably around like 7:30, which is crazy. Uh, I'm still not really used to it, so that's that's pretty cool. I I like it when you know I have more time in the uh, evening 
to get out there. So, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I might hook up with my buddy Jacob. He might join. He may not. I'm, I still got. I'm still waiting for his text, but he might come along uh, and just do some photos as well. So yeah, should be a fun one. Uh, and yeah, we'll just cut right to the field footage. So let's get it. Okay, we're at the site. I uh, just got here to Great River Bluffs State Park. So yeah, it's actually a state park. Uh, this place is pretty big. I've been here a few times. Uh, as you guys can see, there's just a little bit of snow on the ground. So that's cool. But like I was saying in the intro, a lot of this is melting pretty fast pretty nice out today it's in the 30s mid 30s so but it still looks pretty cool so we're gonna see what we can see uh yeah i'm gonna try and actually get some vantage point shots on the bluff lines here i got my big old zoom lens with me so actually gonna this will be a little bit of a different one because i usually don't go for bluff shots vantage point shots so it'll be a good change up man it's bright got out here a little bit earlier than expected it's about two o'clock so i didn't really want to wait around any longer i saw there was some clouds coming so i figured may as well just get out here so but we got a lot of trails around here check this out so there's trails going everywhere back here Show you guys the map. So, got the Mississippi River right here, and just trails going pretty much everywhere <laughs> on top of these bluffs. So, we'll check it out. Um, yeah, when I get to some good shots and I'm seeing some good stuff, I'll pull out the camera and get some video for you guys. Big old pine trees. It smells good in here. It's pretty cool looking. Look this map. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go up to this little thing. pretty out today. Alright, we're coming up on the first little overlook here, guys. As you guys see, we're up pretty high on the bluffs. The overlook's right down there, so. I'm mosey on down here. Let's try and get some Pretty cool vantage point shots, so check it out. Beautiful day. Not even windy up here. That's a view. Holy cow. Wow. Should be able to get something up here. I can zoom way in. I'm like town down there and stuff. 
But yeah, you can't really, pretty much all the snow is gone. You can't really see anything. That's okay though. So this is the first uh, overlook. Mississippi River. But let me flip the camera. All right, guys, I'm just about done with this spot, but I just wanted to show you if you can see, uh, this is just my iPhone filming, so I can't really zoom in that much, but there's a bridge right there. So I zoomed in really far on that, took that, and then over here, if you see this little, where's my finger, this little waterway going through there so I tried to focus on that with the zoom lens trying to frame this up kind of nicely uh, just following the, uh, the path of the water and such so hopefully those turned out maybe they can be pretty cool after like editing but just some interesting kind of shots there so clouds are starting to roll in a little bit it's like 2.30, 3 o'clock, so I'm going to head up this way, get to another spot of the park, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can see some stuff like through through the trees and whatnot, so we'll keep on trucking. All right guys, look at this. I have been chasing this boat, this boat here. This, uh, this boat. I've been getting some pics of this guy as it's going along the Mississippi here. Oh my God. It was just right here. And I got a shot of it and it was beautiful. But yeah, this barge here, I forgot the name. It's a barge. It's going along. Um, I need to get pictures of this, more pictures. But I wanted to get it on video for you guys. You know, fall. I'm way up. Way up here. But I'm going to keep following this thing as it goes down. The mighty miss here. And I'm going to keep snagging pictures, so... Bear with me guys, but check that out. That is pretty cool. That is a cool shot, man. There she goes. We got some real nice pics. Look at that. Look at that barge there, guys. So you can see we're pretty far away. So I got a lot of uh, a lot of angles to work with up here. But man, oh man, that was uh, that was a nice surprise. I just look down and I see this huge barge boat kind of just chucking along there. That's pretty sweet. Okay, let's have a little chat. So that barge is passed. Uh, I'm at another overlook, so I'll just explain kind of what happened. Good to reflect on that. Um, so basically, I was taking shots along this trail here, following the river. Um, and I just look down and I see the barge slowly moving across. And something with the zoom lens, guys, if you're working with lenses that have um that are like zoom lenses they can you know they have uh 
what's the what's the word they have a large range um a lot of times i've found there's some situations where like stuff just happens quick and uh like if you catch something moving like if you're trying to take a picture of something that's moving like a car or a boat whatever a bird stuff will happen quick right um so i was just scrambling right there uh for that barge photo and i got a lot of good ones moving along here i was kind of just following it following it as it was uh going along the river here so as i was going i was just looking for different shots uh up until i hit this overlook and then you know just seeing it leave right down there so just something just something to think about i guess you know stuff will happen quick uh if you do see stuff while you're taking photos and you're trying to snag something like i was i was just trying to like keep it together keep it keep it chill um and focus focus on getting the getting the frame right getting the shot set up getting your exposure set up right um because stuff will happen quick so and especially yeah, if you're if you're at like a vantage point spot like i am right now like you can't go anywhere um you're kind of just looking out you know you can't you're kind of waiting for the pictures to come to you more or less uh like obviously i'm looking out here i'm trying to see frames um different different angles and whatnot but sometimes yeah like those photos they'll just come to you and they'll and boom you're in a moment where you're catching something um so yeah just something to think about uh but yeah it's beautiful up here man this is you can see this whole side of this bluff is just covered in snow but uh pretty cool looking let me flip the camera here um actually before i do that so i think i'm pretty sure this park goes all the way over there to like more overlooks it's something something over there because there's like three or four other ones um so i don't know we might go over there as well but check this out check out i'll flip the camera so you guys can see this so yeah beautiful spot mississippi a little interpretive sign pretty cool so <laughs> yeah there's this shot right here guys this is perfect with that barge i was lining it up perfectly kind of going vertical and as the barge is coming around here hit that spot with the water too because the water provides uh, kind of a darker backdrop, right? It's, uh, you know, you can set that exposure down and it's just a nice kind of dark backdrop for stuff. So that looks pretty cool. But I'm gonna hang around here a little bit more, guys. Um, got my camera just sitting out here. And uh, yeah, hang around here, maybe try and take advantage of this snowy hillside or bluff. Um, and then yeah we'll uh keep on going okay guys so a little mid shoot assessment uh it's about four o'clock but not here like two hours happy i got out here earlier so it looks like the clouds are gonna roll in here it might be a cloudy evening so uh was just down there at the overlook might go do another bluff now and keep checking it out. I'll show you guys where I'm at on the map. So we went, check this out, that was nothing. Went to that one. We were just at that one. So might come over here, do these. But yeah, they keep on going. And 
other bluff now. Yeah, we're over there. It's still a beauty of a day. But I will say, getting a little hungry, getting a little tired. Two straight hours, two straight hours is just trucking along. So we'll see when I hit the wall. But not yet. So I've been walking quite a bit here, guys, through this little campsite. So these are these are cart cart in campsites so you get like a little hand cart you basically have to like walk your walk your stuff to the site which isn't it's not bad at all it's not very far from the road or anything but <clears throat> on the map there's a overlook up here Kern Kerns Valley Kerns Valley overlook so check it out. I think I see it. Little bench up there. So far though, yeah, I mean not not a whole not too many shots. Again, really really happy about the barge shot, the ones I took over there. But I haven't been taking like a lot. But I know I got at least a few good ones to come away with already, so I'm already happy with that but see if we can get a few more grass is turning green up here Getting a lot of sunlight. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Peaceful, so quiet. It's like no wind. Wow. Probably trying to get some shots here of the uh, see those bluffs kind of lines going down. That looks pretty cool. That's some good shadowing effect going on right there. If you guys can see that, the three three ridges. That's pretty cool. Looks like there's a little there's a trail down there as well. So peaceful, man. I'm gonna hang around here a bit, guys. See about the shots, the actual camera shots, but yeah, this is a pretty cool valley. Pretty cool. Definitely gonna try and get a nice shot of these kind of bluffs right there. So that that snow is covering them real nice right now. I mean it's kind of what I, was, what I was looking for. A little bit of snow.
So just to give you guys some perspective, <clears throat> uh, we were over there uh, getting those barge shots. So did the full kind of loop here. I am nearing the end of what I got left in the tank here, guys, and as you can see, my prediction has come true. It's going to be a cloudy evening, so there's not really any, not really any sun poking through anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, it's like 4:45, almost five o'clock. <clears throat> so almost been out here like three hours now. I've, uh, I've been doing a lot of walking today. Which is good, which is good. So I'm just gonna mosey up here. Um, it's not too far up here, but there's, it's just the other side of the park. So there's one less, or there's two overlooks over here. I'm only gonna go to one. Um, I'm about ready to pack it in. So we'll just check out this spot quick. And I'm pretty good on pictures too, guys. I mean, yeah, let me flip the camera. Yeah, so, like I was saying, I'm going to check out this last little overlook. Um, I'm pretty good on pictures. Uh, the last spot we were at, that little valley overlook, I sat there for about 20 minutes. And uh, there's there was a bridge with uh, uh, cars and trucks crossing. So I lined it up with the bluffs in the background. I was waiting for a big semi truck to roll through so it would kind of pop up more on the camera on the picture so that one turned out pretty good I think a lot of vertical portrait style shots today um, which is good I'm happy I busted out the 70 to 300 just something totally different you know I don't use zoom lenses a whole lot but I know I need to, I need to keep changing it up, and I've been wanting to bust, I've been wanting to bust it out for a while, so it's good to get a little different perspective. I'm having to zoom really far in on the on the iPhone here too, just so you guys can see it on video. But uh, yeah, not too much left here. It's gonna be a cloudy evening, so probably pack it in here pretty soon. Coming down to the last overlook here, guys. I have walked a very, very long way. I basically just hiked the whole park, almost. Except for like a third. Very long way. But it's worth it. So, last... Last overlook. That's a pretty cool scene right there. Beautiful day. Beautiful spring day. There you have it. Big old Mississippi. Yeah, so if you guys can see, right in there, that's where that little curve of that waterway was. And we were shooting that from like the bluff way over here. So we've pretty much come all the way across the park here. But beautiful views, beautiful views. Gotta love it, man. 
Same deal here though. I might hang around, I might not, to be honest. Like, uh, I see some shots maybe through here. Kind of towards the city there. I don't know, we'll see. But hang around here for a few minutes and then I got a long hike back. It's about 5.15, uh, very cloudy now. So, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it guys. This was a sweet hike. Happy to show you guys the, the bluffs here before we really get into summertime. It's cool, cool right now too, cause you can see through all the trees and stuff. Cause this looks totally different when there's a bunch of leaves here. You know, you can't, you can't see through all the stuff as well, so. Very good hike. Here, check out this boat coming along and then we'll wrap it up. Dude's flying. All right, friends, just got done with the overlook, that last one there. So I'm done. I've hit my limit. Um, it's about, we're about three hours in. So, and I got at least a couple mile hike back to the truck. Um, so it'll probably take me an hour to get back, 45 minutes ish. Sheesh. But yeah, it was a good hike, man. Good little shoot today. Um, like I said, it's just, just wanted to try something a little different with the zoom lens. Uh, I think it went well. You know, you're, you never really know with the zoom lens and stuff. Uh, perfect example is that barge shot. That barge shot was totally unexpected, you know. But I was, I had my zoom lens and I was set up for it. I was set up for that shot. So I find sometimes that'll happen a lot with the zoom, you know, stuff will just happen and you'll have it, you'll have it with you and you'll be ready to go. But as far as today goes, pretty satisfied. I mean, I didn't get, you know, a bunch of crazy good shots, but I got a few and I'm happy with that. So one thing I will say guys, before I head off here and continue my, my walk. Oh, wow. Check out this road, this road shot here. Oh, I thought that look, looks cooler in person. <laughs> Doesn't look as cool on the camera. Um, what I will say though is there was an eagle, I think in this tree or one of these trees here while I was walking up to the overlook. And if you guys are into photography like me, man, here's a piece of advice. Always, as much as you can, have your camera out and ready. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just was not ready for that shot, so. Yeah, so like I was saying, saw an eagle there on the tree. It could have been really cool, but I didn't even, I was just walking up and um, he flew away like immediately when I, when he heard me. So I, I wouldn't even, even if I did have my camera out, out of my backpack, I wouldn't have had time, but just a piece of advice. You know, you never know when stuff is gonna happen. So always, always try and have your camera close and ready. So that'll do it for this one, guys. I'll film a little video just to wrap it out once I get back to the truck. But I got a long way back. It's about 5.20 right now. I'll let you guys know the time once I get back. 
but I'm at the very end of the park. Actually, there's a map coming up here. I'll show you. So, we were just right there. Came all the way down, checked out this campground, all the way down, went to Kearns Valley, did these, so we did that, 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 campground in here. Didn't go to this one, just went straight there. So, I gotta come from here, all the way back here to where I parked. So it's a ways, it's a ways, but I'll do a little video for you guys once I get back in the truck. But until then, I'm going to keep on hiking. We made it guys, we made it. It only took about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Walk back. A lot darker now. Okay, made it guys. Oof, my feet hurt. <laughs> that was a trek, holy cow. But back of the truck here. So that'll do it for this one. That will do it for this one, guys. Um, it was a good hike. It was a good hike. You know, I feel accomplished after being out here for, I got out here like two, three, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I've been out here like four hours, three, four hours. So after a long day like that, I always feel a little bit accomplished. So it feels good. Got some good picks. Did the zoom lens, tried something a little different. So, good Saturday. I don't know if it snows tomorrow. I might go out and include that one in this. Um, but if not, we'll just cut to the to the, to the the crib, kind of review the photos, um, or we'll just cut to tomorrow's footage if I decide on going out or not. So, thanks for uh, joining me on this on this hike here, guys. And hope you guys are getting outside too enjoying the weather, getting some fresh air, and hopefully getting some pictures too. So that'll do it for me guys. Thanks for sticking with me and see you guys at the crib. Peace out. All right. What's up everybody? Back in the crib now. Uh, we're just going to review the photos from that from that hike. Uh, Great River Bluff State Park. That was a good one, man. Uh, that was definitely a long long hike. <laughs> and I know that field footage ran long, so I'm going to try and keep this relatively quick. Um, but yeah, overall, really good hike. Um, just reviewing some of the photos here, looking at them. I didn't, I mean, I didn't, as far as quantity goes, uh, not too many photos for like quantity wise. Uh, but I, it, that's kind of what I was expecting, you know, when you're shooting with the zoom lens, it, um, you know, there's, there's, I guess specific, what am I trying to say? When you're shooting with the zoom lens, there's, uh, there's more specific shots that I'm looking for. Uh, more obviously like vantage point, very zoomed in. Um, so I guess there's less of a, a less of a range, uh, less of a wide range of photo opportunities that you can kind of get <clears throat> with the zoom lens. Uh, but you know, it, it, it's kind of a balancing game, um, between, quantity of photos and I guess the quality uh, but overall I mean hopefully that made sense but uh, overall the ones that I did get as I was looking through really good uh, I, I haven't I haven't taken the zoom lens out in quite a long time and actually gotten some you know tried to get some uh, zoomed in vantage point shots so the ones that I did get I'm pretty happy with uh, so yeah it was a beautiful day my feet were definitely hurting after that hike. I spent like three or four hours out there uh, pretty much the entire afternoon. I'm glad I got out there earlier 
because obviously as we were going into the evening there, it was just getting so cloudy. So glad I got out there a bit early. Um, but as you guys will see in the next episode, so I went out, and this is kind of a prelude to that, but I went out the that Sunday, so the day right after this one, uh, and you guys will see in episode six, we got a ton of snow. Um, so excited, excited about that one. But for now, let's just review the photos. Uh, we'll just run through them real quick here. Uh, I'll try and, yeah, try and make this relatively fast. So let's just hop on the screen. Um, so yeah, we'll just go through these. Um, right off the bat, I did want to show you guys um, one f one of these that I've already edited. If I can find the folder. So this shot was pretty awesome. So this was at the Kearns Valley Overlook, um, looking down kind of into the bluffs. So I'll show you guys the original photo here, uncropped and everything. So this one turned out really cool. We got just a truck kind of, you know, going through the hills. Um going through the bluffs here and the snow on the bluffs really made this one pop. You know, I, I love how you can just see kind of the outline of the ridges and that kind of thing off in the background. And then obviously I sat here for quite a while and I was just waiting for a semi truck to kind of roll through this. Um, this was really fun to take. This was a really fun shot to take because yeah, I spent quite a bit of time here just trying to line up, line up the right shots, get all these kind of lines with the bluffs kind of flowing into the shot as well. Uh, but it turned out really nicely. Um, sat here for a while, and then out of the blue, this yellow and orange truck, which pops. It really pops perfectly with this kind of foreground and background color. Um, uh, so, yeah, I was just waiting for a semi-truck to roll through here because the cars you could barely see, you know. So I wanted a big truck, and thankfully this one was really bright with the color. So that turned out really, really nice. Um, yeah, a little bit of blur, but that's okay. You know, I was zoomed in very, very far, so you're going to have some blur. Uh, but that photo, um, that was one of the photos that I've kind of spent editing uh, so far. But we'll just run through them all quick. And all of these that you're seeing are unedited, raw photos. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but... Yeah, a lot of vantage point. Looking down at the bridge here, I kind of pointed that out in the video. Uh, yeah, just kind of looking at the river, trying to trying to see, you know, trying to pick up on the lines of the river. Um, also tried to follow kind of where the sun was shining down on the landscape here. And then one of these I highlighted. Uh, yeah, so let's just take a look here. So this one I highlighted, uh, and the ones that I do highlight, I'll probably edit. So I really like this shot here. Uh, obviously we got the bridge, that's kind of the main focus of the shot, is this little, this bridge crossing for the trains. Uh, just kind of adds some contrast with the river there. Uh, it's just a structure, you know, to bring some contrast. This one I highlighted as well. So another good shot there of that bridge. And really with these highlights, I'm looking for just a good focus with the image. Because um, a lot of these, especially with a zoom lens, you're going to get shakiness. Um, I wasn't working with a tripod or anything. I rarely work with tripods because I like I like the mobility of not having one. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't like setting up all of that. Um, unless I'm in, you know, in the dark. Uh, but yeah. So you do get shakiness uh, that you that you want to avoid, but out of out of the many shots that I take, uh, there's definitely quite a few that are in good focus. Uh, but now we're gonna go through these barge shots, and these shots are definitely the highlight of the day. This this barge here, uh, completely random, very unexpected, but I tried to um, get the best shots I could as this was happening and I came away with some awesome, awesome photos. So these are a little bit blurry, a little bit too bright, but I was, again, I was messing with the exposure here, getting the shot, getting my camera settings right, because at this point 
um, I did know <clears throat> there was a certain position I was looking for for this barge, and it was right here. So as you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I set up in this position, looking at you know this this part of the river where you have these uh, I forget what it's called where the river does this. But essentially it breaks off, and it, it's just a really cool line, a uh, curving line that the river is taking. Um, along with the bluffs in the way, way background, it just created a really nice uh, composition for this barge to come into the photograph. And as you can see, uh, right in here, I believe these were the highlights. Yep, so this photo here, <clears throat> this is a highlighted one. So definitely going to edit this, but as you can see, just a overall amazing composition, uh, and look at that focus too. Marquette Transportation, J. Andrew Exton, Exton, I can't really read that, but good focus here um, all the way throughout, and then you see the bluffs there in the background. Just, I mean, this is one, this is honestly one of, this might be one of the best shots I've ever taken in my life. <laughs> <clears throat> to be quite honest, I mean, when this was happening, I kind of knew that, okay, if I get this right, it's going to be a shot that I'm going to remember for a long time. So this honestly might be one of the best shots I've ever taken, uh, <laughs> bar none. So, yeah, there's that. And then this one I also highlighted as well, a little bit zoomed out from that previous one, I believe. Uh, not really, but... Actually, I think it's a little bit more zoomed in. A little bit more zoomed in, sorry about that, than the previous one. But essentially the same composition. The barge is a little bit more center, uh, but still good focus, good light all throughout. Great composition. Love this shot, man. Uh, when this goes into editing, it's going to come out looking just gorgeous. So super happy about this. Um, again, I was just really looking for really looking for that positioning um, and when this was happening I was trying to move quick also trying to get video for you guys for the field footage trying to make my camera settings all line up so there was a lot of stuff going through my head while this was happening but very happy with how it turned out got plenty of shots here of this barge as it went along but those two that you just saw those are definitely the highlights um, and then again just kind of going landscape style here along the river this was honestly a cool uh, this is this was an interesting shot as well, This land, these landscape ones. Uh, it just gives you a different perspective on the whole river. And you can, yeah, it's just a different feeling with that landscape, the horizontal shots. But these aren't as as great as the previous ones. The sunlight is not as pronounced in these. Um, so I'm not sure. I, I might edit, like, I think I highlighted one of these. Um, 8373... Yeah, like this guy is pretty good. You know, you got good focus here. But sunlight, not as pronounced in these, which is fine. Um, and then as the barge was leaving here, I also got a few shots uh, <clears throat> going around the bend that actually turned out pretty cool. I think one of these is highlighted. Yeah, this guy. So this is this is a cool composition. I mean, you've got, you got the bluffs. The bluff line here, uh, kind of cutting it off the river. Um, so just just a different perspective on the river, uh, all those waterways going through. So another good shot there. So I might edit that one up. Uh, but yeah, those bar shots, I mean, highlight of the day for sure. Uh, and then I was just kind of doing some zooming in, zooming around, you know, <laughs> trying to see what I could see. Uh, up there and then trying to get <laughs> I was trying to capture a photo of this bird here but it was way too shaky and there are those truck shots so as you can see I spent a lot of time a lot of time positioning other semi trucks ran through whoops just bumped to the end there we'll go back so yeah all of these shots here these are all from that semi truck or this this pass this bluff pass area but semi trucks rolling through cars rolling through I was making sure the exposure was set right trying to get that positioning right again you're seeing a lot of shakiness so I was trying to hold the camera as still as I could uh, and here comes that 
yellow semi truck a lot of shakiness so this was really a lot of luck played into this one as well and then there's that shot there so a lot of luck played into this um i wasn't certain if i was going to get it or not but it turned out turned out uh turned out great and then last few shots here these aren't really much i just saw this boat at the last overpass or overlook saw this boat moving along nothing really special with these photos uh just kind of cool Kind of cool motion with that boat going through there. And there, there's a little preview of episode six. So <laughs> be ready for some good snow in that one. But those are all the pictures, guys. Um, like I said, as far as quantity goes, not a whole lot. Um, I mean, uh, again, I was kind of constrained to these overlooks. So I was really just moving around the bluffs, um, trying to <clears throat> trying to see what I could see on top. So... Uh, but as far as working with the zoom lens, I mean, I could not have asked for, could not have asked for a better kind of outcome than these these images here. So those barred shots are just immaculate. Love these shots. Can't wait to get those in editing. So, but that'll do it for these pics. So let's we'll hop off the screen. Boom. Uh, but yeah, that was a good shoot, man. That was a good shoot. Very very stoked about the barge. Um, that those bridge shots were pretty good as well. And then the semi truck, as you guys can see, I already edited that one up, and I thought it turned out really good. So uh, overall, I mean, pretty happy, pretty happy with the outcome of this of this photo shoot. I'm definitely gonna try and make use of the zoom lens a little bit more uh, when I when I can, when I see the opportunity is right. Uh, but you know, it, it it's a totally different, <clears throat> totally different style of photography when you're doing photos like this, very zoomed in. Uh, you're just looking at landscapes completely differently, and I like that. You know, I like the I like the the different different styles. You know, you, I always obviously I work with the twenty two um, the twenty two lens fixed a lot, just doing like the residential suburb shots, house shots, that kind of thing. Uh, but I think as a photographer, uh, you know. You, you always want to be trying different stuff. Uh, at least I do. Uh, I want to be trying different lenses, different styles of photos. You know, I have my I have my specific styles that I usually stick with. Um, generally, uh, you know, naturey shots, landscape shots. I don't do I don't do a whole lot of portraits or like pictures of people. Um, but as far as the actual lenses and different camera bodies, you know, obviously that's money money you know you got to spend money to, to change those things up uh, but if you do have the chance to you know change it up uh, try a different lens out try a different style zoom lens vantage point shots you know go for it it's just gonna make you a more well-rounded photographer in the long run and it's fun it's a lot of fun uh, changing it up and just getting that uh getting a different feel for for um for uh for these types of photos so Turned out really well. Um, I may show you guys. I'll probably show you guys eventually the edited barge barge shots. Uh, I might honestly print those out because <laughs> I just love them. Uh, so yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. Hopefully, I kept that relatively quick. Uh, but episode six is on the way. That'll be the most likely the last winter episode, finishing off with a good snowstorm. Really good snowstorm. Technically, a spring snowstorm, but. Um, yeah, we'll finish off the winter season most likely with that one. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Don't got much else to say. So I hope you guys are getting outside. Hope you guys are taking some pictures. If you want to get into it, definitely pick up a camera, get outside, start taking some photos, stay, you know, stay, uh, going out and getting your hikes in, you know? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.